Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the MacBook Pro 2013. This version comes with a magnetic charging port, two Thunderbolts, a USB on this side, a USB on the other side, headphone jack, stereo speakers on the left and right side of the keyboard, the trackpad, an HDMI out, and an SD card reader. It comes equipped with a 4K monitor. You can tell this by going to YouTube and looking up a 4K video. Although this machine is not powerful enough to watch 4K video, it is powerful enough to watch 2K video on YouTube easily with no lag. 4K, it runs at about 15 frames per second on a 30 frames per second video, so you're going to get a lot of lag. Here are more specs on this Mac. It should be noted that this lacks a DVD drive. So if you want to watch movies or rip DVDs, it is not possible to do so unless you get an external DVD CD reader, writer, that will plug into the USB port. This machine comes with your standard Apple apps such as GarageBand and iMovie, QuickTime Player, Preview Text Edit, Cinema Tools, Soundtrack Pro, Apple Loops, iPhoto, Game Center, the App Store, iTunes, Photo Booth, FaceTime, Messages, Contacts, Calendar, Reminders, and a whole slew of other Apple apps. It is capable of editing 1080p video at 60 frames per second with no lag up to 10 minutes. Beyond 10 minutes with 8 gigabytes of RAM, it starts to stutter and you start running into issues. But if you are interested in 1080p video editing, it is great for that. If it is possible to do 2K, I believe it would only be up to 5 minutes and then you'd start getting a whole bunch of lag. Um, but we have not tested out 2K video editing. We have watched 2K videos though and it works flawlessly on this machine. So you can get one of these used on eBay for around $700 to $900 to $1,100 depending on how much RAM you get. And if you get the 2.5, 2.7 gigahertz model, it goes up to the thousands. All in all, I'd say this machine is great if you're doing light video editing. On Adobe Premiere CS 5.5 and I believe 6.1, you get great performance up to 15 minutes rather than on iMovie where it starts to lag at 10. And on Final Cut Pro, you get up to about... 13 minutes before you start having issues with this particular model with these specs. Adobe After Effects 5.1, you get around 15 to 25 frames per second depending on the size of your video. We tested this with 1080p 30 frames per second and got around 20 and then we tried it with 720p at 60 frames per second and got around 15 to 25 depending on how many other clips were being edited. And without um, special effects added, we got around 23 on average for both resolutions, give or take. It was never a steady frame rate. This thing charges in about one hour to full, from zero to full. So it does have very, very fast charging times. Would I recommend this laptop for video editing and photo editing? Yes, yes I would if you're working on smaller projects. It is definitely worth the money. With Apple, you get a portable Hollywood studio in a laptop. I'm Josh from Job and Josh with History of and Reviews, and I'm signing out.